Vasilievich, clever painter who achieved professional recognition through success with the public and the Russian royal family, the one who defined the strategy of self-building personality through daring pressure of exhibition activities and learning from nature, the artist, where the glory of artistic outrage intertwined with the spiritual warmth of succinct embracing images, with a slight nostalgia for the present. Julius Clever was from the Baltic Germans. Early he finds himself in Petersburg in landscape classes of the Academy of Arts, where in spite of the success for which he was awarded big and small silver medals, Clever decides to break with the academic program and go the way of barbers into the open air. Learning from nature was his motto. He paints a lot from nature, forced to exhibit early, not yet completing an academic course. The artist suddenly receives recognition. His paintings are liked by the royal family. In 1876, Birch Forest is acquired by Alexander II and he, who did not finish the academic course, is awarded the title of the first degree class artist in 1878. One year later the work The Virgin Forest was acquired by Tretiakov. Since then, the forest, the thicket, stand out in the work of Clover and become a kind of quality tuning fork. He did not write them much with special care and thoughtfulness of subjects. The Forest in Winter was a continuation of this theme. This painting was also acquired by the royal family. The painting was appreciated by Emperor Alexander III himself. Great luck and honor to represent within the walls of the Anakin Gallery of the Forest theme by Yuri Clever. Autumn Landscape Fog in the Forest, 1894, is a lyrical and sad cast of late autumn time. Foggy morning, the crows roar, from the broken, almost toppled birch tree. Through the diverging tree trunks we see the perspective of the scattered forest. The last brown-red leaves of the fading autumn escort us to the fog, in which the distance sinks and breathes shakily. A carpet of poetic metaphors weaves in its depths. The maiden birch tree's pole is being overturned by the autumn storm. The tilted spruce on the other side echoes it. Two young trees parting, fall before us, and only mighty firs, by an inflexible fate, create an immutable order holding up the vertical structure of the picture. The drama of shattered hopes, of broken destinies, is even sadder in the finale of the year when plans of winter are so vaguely defined and our distance is so languidly obscure. The significance and high artistic merit of the work are underscored by the custom-made frame of the Imperial Court Supplier A. Jessel.